Welcome back to the Maths Guy. Today we are looking at prime factorization and let's begin. Okay, so we have these three numbers we're going to focus on today. We have the number 12, which is our green chili challenge. We have the number 36, our orange chili challenge. And then we have 750, our red and our hardest chili challenge. Okay, but first, what is prime factorization? So prime factorization is breaking down a number into its prime factors, which can then be multiplied back together to get the original answer again. But what does that mean? Well, let's start by getting some prime numbers on our screen to help us. So we've got these prime numbers here. These are the prime numbers all the way up to 20. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. Now, if you haven't checked out my video on prime numbers yet, make sure you do that first because we really want to get a good understanding of what a prime number is. But just to recap, a prime number is a number that can only be multiplied by the number one and itself. It has no other factors. So all of these numbers here can only be multiplied by itself and one to get that number. For example, number seven, the only factors are one and seven. Seven is not divisible by anything else, so therefore it's a prime number. Okay, now you might notice that the number one is not on this screen, and technically number one should be a prime number because it falls in the same category. It can only be multiplied by one and itself, but for technical reasons we're not gonna get into in this video, it's not a prime number. Okay, so let's look at our green chili challenge and look at the number 12. So when we're looking for the prime factors, what we're trying to do is get our factor tree right the way down to prime numbers. Now, what does that mean? Well, what it means is we can get our 12 and we can find a set of factors. So let's do it with two and six. Two times six is 12. Now, what can we notice straight away? Well, we have the number two and two is a prime number. So we've already got that branch of our tree down to a prime number, but is six a prime number? No, it's not in our list, so therefore we need to carry on. And we can see that actually six isn't a prime number because it can be made up of two and three. Two times three equals six. Now, what do we notice? We've got ourselves down to a two again. Two is a prime number, and guess what? Number three is also a prime number. So, what we've done here is we've got our factor tree all the way down to prime numbers. So, our prime factorization for the number 12 would be two times two times three. 2, 2, and 3. And if I multiply 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is 12. Therefore, we know we've got it right. But wait a minute, I can hear some of you asking, what if we didn't start with 2 times 6? What if we started with another factor pair of 12? What if we started with, let's say, 3 and 4? Because 3 and 4 equal 12. Well, let's see what happens. Well, I've already got a prime number here, and now all I need to do is find the factors to 4, which would be 2 and two, and two is a prime number, and therefore I can't go any further, and I actually have the exact same numbers as before. We have three times two times two. Three times two is six, times two is 12. So we get the same answer. Okay, let's look at a harder one. Let's look at 36. Let's find our factors for 36. Now 36 is an even number, so we know that we can divide by two, so let's do that. I'm gonna start with two times 18. Okay, so have I got down to a prime number already? I think I have, I've got the number two. So that side, that branch is done. Now I'm gonna see if I can find a factor pair for 18. Well, again, 18 is even, so I can go two and nine. Two times nine is 18. And again, I found another prime number. Now nine is not a prime number because it can be made up of three times three. Three is a prime number, therefore we know we've finished. So what are the prime factors of 36? We have two, two, three, and three. Let's check, two times two is four, times three is 12, 12 times three is 36. Okay, a little bit harder because we had a little bit longer to do in our factor tree, but still not too challenging. Okay, let's have a look at one more. Let's have a look at our red chili challenge, 750. Well, this might look actually harder than it actually is because what we're trying to do is just find a factor pair. And one sensible starting position might be here to do 10 and 75 because 10 times 75 equals 750. But have I found any prime numbers yet? No, I don't think I have. 10 is not a prime number and 75 is not a prime number. So I need to keep going. I'm gonna start with this branch here, 10. 10 can be made up of a two and a five. Now have I found any prime numbers? Yes, I found the two, which is prime, and I've also found the five, which is also prime. Now I can look over to the other branch and I can say 75. Well, 75 will be made up of three, and 25. 
3 times 25 is 75. And guess what? I found another prime number, but let's keep going with the 25 because that's not prime. 25 is made up of 5 times 5. And look what we've got. We've got our last prime numbers again because 5 is a prime number. So now I'm all the way down to my prime numbers. I factorize 750 into its prime factors. And the factors are 2, 5, 3, 5, and 5. And it doesn't really matter which way around we multiply this because as we know, multiplication is commutative. So I'm gonna do two times five is 10, times three is 30, times five is 150, times five again is 750. And there we have it. Our red chili challenge actually wasn't too difficult at all. Okay, let's think about things to remember then. So we must always break our numbers into factor pairs. And then we're gonna use a factor tree to go all the way down to prime numbers. And then the trick is that we can use these prime numbers to multiply them back together and we should end up with the original number. That's how we know we've finished our factorization and we've got to our prime numbers. Okay, I've got three questions here on the screen. Have a go at them, try and find the prime factors and put your answer in the comment section below and I'm gonna try and mark every single one. Good luck. Okay, hopefully this video was useful for you. If it was, please think about subscribing, it really helps me out. If not, I'm gonna see you in another video. Peace out.